Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from firefighters who rescued children in that school bus crash last week in Bonner Springs. The city honored them tonight during a ceremony. New at 10, Garrett Hake was one of our first responders to that bus crash. He joins us tonight with the story of those heroes. Garrett? Mark, on the day of that crash, nearly 70 people from nine different agencies responded to this steep embankment in Bonner Springs. Many of them were parents themselves, and tonight they gathered to talk about what they saw and did here. In 29 years as a firefighter, Dennis Hubble had never gotten a call like this. Hearing it to begin with just sends chills down your spine and just ready to react. And then hearing that it was full of kids, that just sends the adrenaline flowing. A school bus full of children flipped on its side in a ditch. There were injuries. Paramedic Don Brooks was one of the first on the scene. A mother of four, her heart went out to the parents of the girls she helped. I just kept thinking about the parents and thinking, how are we going to get this information relayed to their parents? That night, she told us, she felt thankful just to go home and hug her children. It makes you just want to go home to your kids and, and be grateful for, for their being healthy. Very proud of him. But Hubble didn't have to wait. I've never seen a wreck like that, and a lot of people haven't. His son Travis beat him to the scene, rolling up in the first fire rescue truck. It was Travis who helped pull the badly injured bus driver to safety. When I got on scene, I went over to the first hatch, uh, the hatch on top of the bus, and I opened that up, and he was laying right underneath it on the driver or the passenger side windows, and I was talking to him the whole time. The chief says he's one proud dad. He's just jumping in there and doing the job and carrying it on and taking care of people. And his son says that's all it was, just doing his job. I've been volunteering here for almost eight years, and we've been in a lot of hairy situations together, and it's just what I think it's what we expect of each other. And tonight there are a lot of people who are very grateful for the Hubble's high expectations for each other and for all the work done by all those other first responders out here last week. The city of Bonner Springs decided tonight that this day going forward will be known as First Responders Day. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.